guys it's your girl Cree. welcome back to my channel so today i'm coming at you guys with a makeup tutorial and possibly a like a wig review slash wig um unit try on um yeah so if you guys like what you see and you're interested in seeing how i achieve this look then just stay tuned don't forget to hit that like button subscribe and hit the notifications bell so that you can be notified anytime that i upload all right until then i'll see you on my next video all right you guys so we're just gonna go ahead and get started with my cap putting my cap on just getting ready and prep for the wig um this is the wig that i was telling you about this is outre zen a very old wig i've had this for a little under five years or maybe even over so yeah this is an old wig i'm just combing it out right now and just getting it situated on my head getting it to my liking the way i like to wear it um <laughs> i'm actually going to end up as you can see the it blends in pretty good but this was before we were laying lace so at this time we were just sitting it on top of our head this is hard lace so I seriously doubt any of you would really want this wig but um it's an old faithful for me i love this wig so i have kept it um i'm just here you'll see me clipping off the ends of this wig because they had gotten a little ratty um i never did go in and like um flat iron this wig or anything it's been this way from day one it was a long wig and i cut it so um yeah Alright you guys, so now that we are all done with cutting our wig, I'm just going to pin this hair up as we get ready to start the makeup application process. So as you can see, I'm just going to go in with my primer and moisturizer. You guys, I won't be naming every product that I use, but you will see it and I will be sure to put that in the description box at the bottom of the video. So be sure to check there for a list of all of the products that I use in this video. Um, so yeah, um, I'm just going to go in and get started with the application of the foundation. Alright you guys, so now that we got the foundation blended into our liking, we're just going to go on to the next step, which will be highlighting. We're going to use our um, LA Pro Conceal in the color Fawn. And we're just going to bring back some of those highlights to the skin. Once you add foundation, um, you can pretty much go flat after that. So we're just going to bring back some of those highlights and at some point those shadows so that, um, so that we can get some dimension back into our face. So now for the fun part, it is time to blend. So I'm just taking some MAC Fix Plus and spraying that on my sponge. That is the Beauty Blender sponge that I'm using, you guys. And we are just going to blend all those areas where we have put the highlight until they are blended well into the skin. Until we don't know where it begins and where it ends. You should not see a harsh line of demarcation. It should just blend seamlessly into the foundation and we should we should see the highlight but it shouldn't be blatant so i'm just going to show you guys here kind of demonstrate how that should look in the end so just follow along So now we're going to go in with this NYX um, Contour and Conceal Palette and we are going to add some of that dimension back to our face. After we have highlighted, we're now going to go in and do a little cream contouring. I do not do this every time that I contour you guys. A lot of times I just use powder, but if you ever want to go for a really defined look or you're ever trying to get that chiseled effect, you want that double chin to go away or you want to snatch that nose you want to go for your cream contouring and then follow that by 
the powder, which is what you'll see me demonstrating here. Now, ladies, one thing that I do not want to see you do is walk out the house looking like this. The most important thing that you can do is blend. Blend, blend, blend until you can't blend anymore. And then even when you feel like you can't blend anymore, blend a little bit more. Um, we want everything to look seamless. We don't want there to be a blatant line of demarcation. We don't want there to look like there are two separate colors on your face. Even though if you pay attention to your face, you'll notice that there are several different colors, at least to some of us that are um, us black women. Um, we have several different colors to our face. So uh, rightfully so, we use a lighter and darker powders. So now I'm going in with my highlighting powder to all those places that I originally put the concealer. And we're now just setting those places. You do want to do that immediately after you do um, your concealer. After you blend it, I did not do so and do not follow as I did. Please do as I say. Please set that, especially if you have problems with under eye creasing. Please set that as soon as you um, blend that in. Now I'm going in with my bronzer. I'm just going to apply that to those places that we cream contoured. Please remember that everything that you use cream wise or liquid you want to set with a powder so that it can stay in the place. Now we're going to jump into the brows. I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Um, this is an old favorite. I actually just recently started grabbing for this again. It's been one of my, my faves because it gives like a natural effect. These days I don't really care for the Instagram brow. I'm more into a natural thing, natural phase. So yeah, this is the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color Chocolate, I believe. And we're just doing very light strokes, just enough to like enhance my already there brow shape. So nothing particular, nothing super special. Just light strokes, feather-like strokes that look like, that mimic the hairs, the natural hairs of your eyebrows. And now I'm going to take my Kabuki brush and use this MAC um, Mineralized Skin Finish and dust away all of that under eye setting powder that we had placed and we had been baking. We're going to remove that. Um, I just find that this helps it blend in a little bit better and that's like my skin tone powder. So um, yeah, this is what it looks like once you dust it away. And if you feel like it looks a little bit ashy, just hold off. Once we spray, everything will come together. Just give it a little time. Makeup takes a little time to set in. So for now, I'm just going to go in with my Tarte Concealer. And I'm carving out my eyebrows. Honestly, um, this concealer is a... I'm not even going to say a tad bit light. It is light, very light. Definitely not my skin tone. Um, but I was going for that light effect on my lids because I tend to go in with um, neutral colors and I knew I would do a neutral color for this look. So I wanted the concealer to be a little bit light so that those colors do pop on me. Obviously, I have brown skin. It's not as easy for those natural colors to pop without a lighter base. So that's why we went with the concealer of that color. Feel free to go in with the concealer, whatever color you like, or something that is more closer to your skin tone. And right now I'm just blending out the edges. Okay. I'm just gonna set that with the beauty blender with a little bit of translucent powder that was left over. So now I'm just gonna take my face powder that I dusted away my highlighting powder with and just go in and use that as a transition just to get ready for the colors that I would like to use. I'm gonna go in with the Juvia's Place Nomad palette and use that orange in the palette as another transition color. Um, this is not going in my crease, it's like kind of going above it. And we're just gonna lightly buff that in. It's not, it doesn't have to be neat. We're kind of just giving a nice wash of color. Um, and I know you're thinking like, wow, it's kind of orange, but it will fade out and you'll see less of the orange and more of the browns. Um, oranges just go with our skin tone. It's just, it's just a thing, so. You'll get used to seeing that in my videos. Now, you guys, please keep in mind that these videos are sped up. So, um, just understand that it does take more time than what I'm showing you to blend. 
So please take your time and blend all of these things out. Um, again, this is sped up. So I can't, we would be here for a long time if I showed you exactly how long this takes. But just remember, just blend until it's seamless. So just keep that in mind. And so I'm now um, taking the Juvia's Place um, Zulu palette, one of my favorite palettes. I'm taking that brown in that palette and just putting that on the lid and also blending that up towards the crease. Um, we're not doing this like in a perfect motion. We're kind of just doing this kind of sloppily, um, but it will turn out very nice. It's going to give you a nice blended soft brown smoky eye and we're also going to put that underneath. Um, on our bottom lash line as well. Now I'm going to go in and spray my face with a little bit of setting spray, setting mist, um, just to take some of that powdery effect away. And as you can see, the look is kind of coming together. Do another spray. And now we're going to go ahead and apply our blush. That is my Milani blush in Fantastical Mauve. And now we're going to apply some of that mascara. That's Benefit Their Real Mascara. I love that grab that if you ever are looking for a really good mascara um, now I'm just going to further define my brows the tail end I wanted it to be a little bit darker so we're using my um, my lip pencil actually in uh, coffee bean by Jordana So next we're going to add our gel liner and I'm going to go ahead and give myself a nice little wing. Um, if you guys can't already tell, I messed up on my other eye. Um, I did that one off camera, but I left it on purpose so that I can show you guys how to fix those type of mistakes because they do happen even to the best of us. So I'm just going to show you like a quick fix in a way that I do that. Um, just as a rule of thumb, everybody's face is not symmetrical. Um, mine's is not. Um, one of my eyes is more hooded than the other. It's just something that I've come to adjust to over the years. And I found ways around fixing it. But every now and again, a problem like this happens. So I'm just showing you how I fix <laughs> those mistakes when they occur. Next, I'm going in with a little bit of a subtle highlight. Um, this highlighter that I'm using is going to be from Sonia Kashuk. Um, and I can't remember what it's called, but I think it's like a bronze color. Um, it's nothing too dramatic. And I'm going to go in with this lip liner by ColourPop. I believe this is the Ellery um, lip liner. I really love this one. It's like a deep burgundy, a plum. Um, I'm just going to line my lips with that. Please don't talk about my upper lip, y'all. I ain't got no upper lip for real, but we're going to work with what we got, okay? We're not here to bash. We're here to uplift, so that's what we're going to do. So I'm just going to go in with my Fenty Gloss Balm on top. People always ask me, how do you do the ombre lip? I want an ombre lip. Y'all, it's so simple. This is how you do it. The lip liner and your gloss. I'm going to go ahead and apply my lashes, and bam, we got on lashes. So, yeah, please don't talk about my lash. Lashes is not my favorite thing to apply, um, but I do understand that it does take a look to the next level. Um, one of my lashes is slightly leaning. Don't judge me. Judge somebody else. Don't judge me. Oh, look at that. What's not to love? We're going to take down our hair, and we're good to go. All right, you guys, so this concludes my quarantine holiday glam look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you made it to the end, I have a little treat. I'm going to give you all a quick review of my outfit for the day. I'll be featuring this two-piece set I got from Fashion Nova, and you guys, I have to say, I absolutely fell in love with this set. I may have a haul coming out in a few weeks to come, so here's a little sneak peek of the pieces that I purchased. The jumpsuit fits my body like a glove. I know you all see the way it hugs the curves. I do not feel restricted in this whatsoever. It's so extremely sexy and comfortable. So if any of you ladies have been eyeing this set, I recommend that you go out and get it before it sells out. I'll be sure to provide the link in the description box as well as the list of products used in today's video to achieve this look. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the content as much as I enjoyed creating it. So until next time, be safe, have a happy Thanksgiving, and I'll see you all in my next video.
拜。